Okay, so what is the best training split or routines to build muscle and strength, right? And I've done videos on this before, so it's kind of a repeat, but just, just watch it, man. Maybe you can get some insight. So as you may know, I do what I call power building. I do the powerlifting portion, um, exercises first, and then uh, bodybuilding. So I gain strength from the powerlifting or the compound exercises, and then I gain more muscle mass on the bodybuilding exercises, we can say. So anyway, that's number one, power building. Um, I say it's my philosophy, but it's really not everyone, like a lot of people do it. It's just my philosophy on what I think is best for natural bodybuilders. Not even bodybuilders, just natural people that want to get in great shape, aesthetic. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, so step number two is periodization, which is basically, and I've said, some of my, I've said it in some of my other videos, is basically just periodizing your training. For example, you do hypertrophy for four weeks, um, strength training for four weeks, and then maybe endurance training for one week, as you might not really be focusing on endurance. And then, I don't know, have a deload week, one week. By deload, I mean, by deload week, I mean, you can either lower the weight to really light reps or just take that week off, depending on your body feels like, I always say, auto-regulation. But anyway, I think this is just the best way because you get just the best, best of both worlds, right? So in the four weeks of hypertrophy, you just concentrate on the mild muscle connection, the muscle pump, and then on the, the next cycle, the strength training, uh, you just concentrate on strength. <laughs> cycle, it sounds like some steroid shit. I'm, I'm getting the next cycle. And then um, and then endurance training. Personally, I'm not so fast about it, so I'll just do it for one week. But if your main goal is hypertrophy, I'd probably do like six week, uh, six week hypertrophy, maybe three weeks strength, and uh, just you know vary out. Everyone's different, like I always say. Like some people might have one more hypertrophy than strength, and you know. But the reason why this is good, let me tell you the reason, is because, you, like, what happens if you just do hypertrophy, 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 no strength? You're always working an eight to twelve rep range. Most of the time, you're going to plateau, and you're not going to gain much muscle. And like I always say, progress progressive tension overload right so you want to increase the weight that's why you go to the 8 to 12 rep range for those four weeks they're saying you bust out those reps get a muscle pump and then the four weeks of strength you lower the reps try and increase the weight so the next time you start that cycle again you're going to be on higher weight on the 8 to 12 reps for the hypertrophy right so they'll give you more, more volume uh, if you increase the sets and reps and obviously progressive tension overload uh yeah so i think this is about it this is just i didn't really know what video to make it from honest with you so i hope this could help at least one person and structuring their workout and one thing i want to say is how i structure my workout quickly is first of all i do uh, the compound exercises for example today i did pull day i did pull-ups and then rows and then i went on so i trained back first then i go on to biceps because i don't like really jumping like from one muscle group to another but it depends again on my training routine. Sometimes I, I would do that if I do full body and stuff like that. So anyway, um, as always, stay positive, stay smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.